Jerry, you guys are nearing another division title. Just what's this run been like? Nine straight wins. Uh, the offense has, you know, had some had some ups and downs, and you lose Drew Brees, you pick right up, and you still continue to win games. What's this run been like for you? Um, I, I think it shows kind of uh, the resilience of this team. Uh, you know, this, this two years in a row being able to fight through the obstacles that we have uh, to be able to get the first in the division and continue to fight for better. Um, it shows the collectiveness of this team, everybody being on one page, and even though that we get into tough, fight, tough fights and tough battles out there on the field, the, the whole goal of everything is to win the game. And uh, we proved that uh, every hard game we've been in, we've come out on top, and the plan is to continue to do that. Um, and it's just no matter what situation you're put in, you be resilient. And you go out there and you do your job to the best of your ability to help the team win. I tell you what, Jared, you guys went through a four game stretch where two of the games you won in overtime, you won the four games by a combined 15 points. How does that toughen up a team for the stretch run? Um, you know, those experiences that you can look back on as, um, as kind of an example of how you should perform and finish games. Uh, you never want to go into overtime, but sometimes this game does call for overtime. And uh, when you go into overtime, every time we do that, we feel like we're the best team going into it. And we try to prove that and win the game so we're the best team coming out. So it's just examples um, that prove to us and the people in the locker room, no matter what the doubt is outside the building say, it's about the people in the locker room that go out there and they compute and come out on top of the win. And that's just an example on what type of strength and toughness that this team has. You know, I know a couple of weeks ago, you said you weren't all that happy with your production. Uh, 25 catches, but five touchdowns. That means you're catching a touchdown every time, every five times uh, you get your hands on the ball. Every fifth time is a touchdown. Uh, so I guess we just need to get the ball in your hands a little bit more often so you can build up that ratio, huh? <laughs> the, the, the stats are a little bit different from last year, but the, when you explain it like that, I'll definitely take it. <laughs> Uh, Jerry, I mean, we got to notice that baritone voice. Uh, and I got to ask you, when you were a kid, was there any uh, ever a time where like the school called home and you like played like you were the male in the house because you had that voice and you might have been in trouble and, you know, you kind of got away with it? I mean, have you ever answered the phone and people are like, OK, who is this? How old are you? <laughs> Man, you know what? I wish I had the mustard to be able to do that as a kid, but my parents would have probably beat the crap out of me. Uh, <laughs> but I've, I've had a deep voice since high school. Uh, one thing my friends always used to say is, I had a, I always had a deep laugh. My dad had a deep laugh. Uh, and I always had a deep laugh, just like my dad. So that was the first time I noticed when people would say something in high school is when I would laugh and they'd be like, man, you sound just like your dad. They tell me and my brother that. But uh, I wish I could pretend to be my parents, man. I probably would have got away with a lot more. <laughs> now, Jared, here's an opportunity in this game against Philadelphia to not just win the game, but to wrap up the NFC South again. I know you guys' goals are bigger than that, but what would it mean to wrap up the NFC South again? Um, you know, it will mean a lot. It's the first step and postseason play and one of our first steps in the goal of the season of the season and, uh, and that's to win the division and then uh, win a division again and then win a Super Bowl so it's just the first step and, and we got to go do that we got to go out and, and, and attack the goals that we set out to accomplish and actually go finish them so it's on us